Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and we are back today with another Let's Play Red Jazz Mode episode. And we are, of course, in this beautiful tropical environment. And I did make some changes, but not so many because of the lack of time, honestly. But as you can see right over here, uh, we, we had issues with these animals being so stressed. Stress. Both the tapirs and the otters are really uh, hard to handle. So I did create like this uh, little well, shelter building for our guests, which also is very useful because of the rain. Like it's been pouring rain a lot when I was filling everything in with these beautiful uh, tropical trees and plants to make it all look well. And um, yeah, these guests were just so good. <laughs> so uh, we're trying to see if this is going to solve it a little bit. I use the one-sided glass panels. So not the fences, but really just the one-way glass panels to hopefully give them a little bit more privacy. But if this is going to work, uh, that is going to be the question. Time will tell. I did move the baby of Buddy and ja woo <laughs> Jaya Sandra to the training center because it grew up. Uh, they, they don't really like too many tapers in their habitat. So that is a thing. I did already buy the white rhino male right over here. It was 1500 conservation credits, and I was like, wait, that is pretty cheap, I think, for a white rhino, for like a golden status, that is. Like the, uh, oh, 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 actually not even that bad. This is a bronze one, but that one is a lot more expensive. You know what? I'm, I think I'm just gonna buy this one for 500. That's not that bad. I do hope that their stats are pretty okay. I think this is actually a pretty decent match. So we already have a white rhino, male and female, in a trading center. We are going to put this one up for adoption in a bit. But that is why we only have two tapirs in this habitat. Because they just do not like to have more adults in here. And uh, they are cute buddies. And hopefully they are going to uh, bring in a new calf. That will be just really amazing, honestly. So, right, hopefully this is going to help a little bit with distress. One thing I do need to address, by the way, and I'm so sorry that I, I probably didn't mention it in all the previous episodes. Um, donation boxes. You guys were like, oh, you need to put down way more donation boxes because, well, as you can see, there are none, you would think. But hey, I honestly hate these donation boxes, they're hideous, they're, they're big and ugly, and uh, well, as you can see, there is one hidden right over here, there is one hidden right over there, I think there's even one hidden somewhere in here, I, I just do not like them. And I, I did see someone else also commenting like, yeah, you can, you can get like these uh, covers from the workshop or you can recolor them now i did recolor them i think it was it somewhere in here but i'm not honestly not going to recolor all of them like you can obviously duplicate that one and then put it uh, around here but the same goes by the way for look at all these uh these trees and bamboo and stuff it really is making such a difference now now everything is filled up right over here it looks great honestly but yes, okay, so for the uh, the tigers, we have this beautiful overpass. Someone did mention to put an, uh, a, a donation bin underneath here, which was actually really smart. Oh, look. <gasps> That's just too cool. That is just too cool. We, we still need to adjust that one a little bit so they don't do the wonky weird things. But I did put one in here, but there are hidden donation bins, I, I think somewhere yes okay it's here and there's one over here hidden and there's one over here hidden and there's one over here hidden so we have tons of donation bins everywhere i will not forget about them don't worry about that 
But I just hide them away as much as I can because I just find them hideous and ugly. And honestly, have you ever been in a zoo where you saw so many big donation bins? I did not. Um, I, I maybe saw one or two and then it's like for a very special cause, but not like for every habitat. Oh, you poor guy. <laughs> no one wants to see your, your speech or your, your educational talk. Oh, man. This is just the coolest, isn't it? Man, I absolutely love this. This is just so cool. Anyways, so we, don't worry, we have donation bins, but we do need to work on this because this is um, too busy. But obviously that also is because there is not really a reason for these guests to go here. If there would be, then I think they would be um, using, uh, going straight forward as well more often. Now I did connect this just to see if that would like help for a little tiny bit. It's not that much, but I was thinking to maybe just put down guest facilities in here, maybe something to cool down. So what if we would get, oh wait, I want to see just in case. Yes. Okay. We're going to get milkshakes and then get maybe some hot dogs. I like some hot dogs. Let's go for some hot dogs. And then I'm just going to temporarily put down a few picnic benches. And hopefully this will at least give a little bit of relief underneath the tiger overpass. So we can actually European classic picnic bench. Huh, I like these actually. They look really nice. But hopefully it's going to make sure that it's not going to be that busy on the other side but i don't know if this works wait we should also put down a toilet building right over here and this one should right away synchronize with the rest okay 15 cents perfect okay oh we need to put them in a work roster of course so we're gonna get staff work zone and we're gonna just put it into everything i see that i did not connect everything just yet so <laughs> That is a definitely a good thing. I think there might be, yes, there we go. We need to change a few of the work zones to the everything work zone because else we might be messing up anything. All right. Um, one thing you guys also did mention, I did uh, put down the covers in the back right over here. We did move in the previous episode, we did move the research center, center to here. And actually it was quite fast because they are finished both completely so we can now go and research the bengal tiger and the asian small cloth otter but that was a really good tip to just move that research center and as soon as this is done and we have the right rhinos we're gonna move the research center to the other side let's first put like just everything in here so this exhibit should now be 100%, which is just perfect. And we can do the same with this one. Just add some tropical plants, some branches, some lamps. And now this is also 100%. You guys did tell me I would need to have males and females in all the exhibits because that is the way to earn more money so we right now have a female puff adder so i feel like we should just go and find a puff adder uh we need a male perfect we're gonna send this one to this one there we go okay perfect we now have a puff adder uh, male and female we need uh, the rattlesnake i think we're just gonna get this female sent to this exhibit perfect and now the last one is the gila monster we need a male for this one so we're just gonna get let's go for this one this is a male sent to zoo perfect oh yes the flamingos look at that we actually now have this forage box feeder for the flamingos i did hide it away as you can tell and there's some tropical rocks and stuff um, I, I think it looks really nice. I first wanted to have two of them, but I just don't have space for that. And this one is like 
one and a half the size of that bowl feeder. So I thought, I, I think this might be just enough for the amount of flamingos that we have in here. We still have like a lot of flamingos in here that have uh, contraceptives. So, oh, look how fast they are. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with you, Farron Souza. You are like so fast. Uh, I do feel like we should actually train. We, we can just do that like so, right? We can just select all our employees and then do training. Oh, it's it's not even a 3000. So let's just go for that. Do we need to? Oh, we can raise their salaries like this as well. Interesting. Maybe we can give them a little bit more money then. <laughs> Let's just do it. Now that we have this selected anyways. Is there anything else you can do? No, I don't think so. Oh, right. We can now see if that indeed is going to work. I did give them, as since all the research is done right now, I did give them the maximum amount of, uh, or the maximum grade of food. So we now have a grade three quality. But as you can see, there's food on the floor, which is actually not really what I wanted. So that means, like, I cannot click this, can I? I, I feel like we should, because if it's on the floor, that's not really a good thing. So we do need to give them one food bowl still. Maybe, maybe just a small one. M maybe we should do that for now. And just put that one right over here and just smoothy smooth. A little bit around it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna uh, do with this, but at least they have this beautiful forge box feeder hidden away now, and I, I think this looks just a little bit more bit more nice and natural and realistic. I did not do anything else around it. Maybe just add a little bit more flowers, but other than that, it's uh, it's a little bit underneath the water surface. That's why it looks a little bit more. I don't know how you call it, like shimmery or something? <laughs> okay, anyways, flamingos are uh, are doing well. We have the uh, silent signs around them. I feel like they're not that stressed anymore. Did, oh, we indeed have no ATMs. How, how fast are you guys with the research? The Pentacle Tiger, so you can tell how fast this is when having the research center right next to it. My goodness, for the one that gave that tip, you are a hero. This is amazing, really. We we do need to add some ATMs around here because I feel like we um <laughs> this is just not good if people are do not have money to spend. I, I don't really like the look of these either. Uh okay, that's blue. Uh can we just make this like a brownish color? Maybe like that. And then maybe like a darker brown color, like so. How, oh, that's the light color. I, I think the light color is fine. I, I think that is fine. So at least we should add an ETM over here somewhere at the entrance, but not that they are blocking everything. Maybe just right in the middle over here. And as we go, we can maybe just Add one for here. Like these are all temporarily as soon as we're going to build like more. Ooh, this is really busy. Okay, well, it works at least. As soon as we are going to add like real restaurants and stuff, maybe we should just. No, I think one is okay. Then we're obviously going to pick a good spot for like ATMs and, and seating areas and everything. But for now, I think strategically, one, two, three, four, I, I think we should be able to manage with this. I feel like I just want to add another milkshake right over here. Oh, we actually do need to hire another employee for that as well. There we go. And this vendor is going to get the work zone everything. Oh, and we do need to add this in the everything work zone like so perfect okay i think we 
are doing a fantastic job and i'm very happy with that but yeah the only this but hey the conservation pack is coming <laughs> i am not going to touch this backstage area at all yet and i actually feel like maybe i can use some things from the new pack as well for this lovely area for the fennec fox so uh, yeah that's why i was like you know what this time i'm not going to do too much in advance because i'm just really excited for the new pack it's pretty busy out here oh this is actually okay no it's not that bad there's not like a super big line how is that oh gosh it actually is okay maybe we should put one here and then this one to the side i did not see that coming i did not think guests would be needing atms so much so maybe i'm just gonna put three on the side right over here and did i actually put down I, i'm just gonna put down another one right here on the side as well i think that is a smart choice anyways we have a white rhino we are not going to be able to spend too much money on that oh, we have more research is the bengal tiger seriously already done Oh, this is the Asian small cloud otter. Well, that is surprising. <laughs> no, but this is going really fast. I'm super happy with that. Can find an accessible research center. Yeah, um, we might want to squeeze in just one more research center here as soon as we start to grow a little bit. But as of right now, I think we are able to manage without it. But yes, we have a white rhino. We're not going to spend too much money on that, but we are going to make sure that they're happy and, and healthy and stuff. Uh, you know what we should do? I always forget that. So maybe I should just send these two to quarantine first because of diseases and stuff, which actually is like not super common that animals get a disease, but that is why you should do that <laughs> at least. Let's go and start build a habitat for them in this more African region and build something nice for them.
So, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to spend too much money. <laughs> I'm almost broke. But <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. Look at this freaking beauty. I love it that you guys voted for the white rhino on the community wall. Even though I think the derby bongo faces definitely should be added very soon <laughs> as well. All the animals do. But uh, no, seriously, this one is such a beauty. Now, it is actually a little bit harder to uh, keep these because they need so much space. <laughs> so yeah, this is obviously not finished just yet. But uh, yeah, I, I, I did try, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I did try to decorate this a little bit, but are you going to escape? I hope that is not the case. No, okay. <laughs> everything good, everything good. I I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to keep this. This is obviously also a very, very half... Well, not even half. This is just a few walls just to give you an idea, but this is going to be a very uh, nicely decorated building where the guests can go inside, get some, some, some shelter, some shade. There's going to be windows here in the middle, but obviously I do hope that the conservation pack is going to give us like incredible amount of, of stuff as well. Even though it's more focused on backstage stuff, I still hope that maybe there is some stuff that we can use here. And if not, that's all right too, because I mean, I, I, I think we can definitely use like the, the building that we have right over here as some inspiration. This is for the, uh, this one you can download with the collection list that we have in the description of this video, uh, as I mentioned in a previous episode. But we're definitely going to um, stay a little bit in this style, probably, unless there is something really cool in the conservation pack. Uh, but this is definitely going to be a really cool building. This is also more of like a little bit more private section for the white rhinos. This is probably also going to change a little bit, but for now, we're just going to keep it. We have electricity 
and water. I did move the pump right to the middle here, so it's touching all the water bodies at this point, so that is good. Power is also doing very well. We actually have maybe one generator too much, but we, we can replace that later on and just make sure that we cover all the areas. I think that's going to be fine. Now I hear you say, I hear you say it, but the white rhino you can combine with so many animals. Yes, that is definitely true. <laughs> uh, this is the southern white rhino. You can combine it with so many animals, but I'm not. I'm not. I actually want to add one animal and I was thinking to maybe add the springbok or the Thompson gazelle. I, I think I'm going to go for the Thompson gazelle. And just add like, uh, let's see, one male up to 35 females. I think I'm just going to add one. Oh, look at our money go. I'm going to add one male and two females of the Thompson gazelle in this habitat as well. I really want the focus to be or like the main attraction to be the white rhino in this habitat. So I'm choosing to not add like the giraffes or anything like that. But we are going to add the Thompson gazelle because I absolutely love how beautiful they, they look and they're small, so I find them super adorable and they are actually pretty cheap, which is a really good thing. Is there going to be a golden status? No, I think bronze is the highest. This one is four and a half years old, so I think I'm just going to adopt you as a male. Uh, that is for money, which is a good thing. Did we adopt that one? Oh, yes, we did. Perfect. Let's go for this one. So we have three Thompson gazelles. I'm going to send these to this habitat as well. And then we're going to ha add like this hanging grazer feeder. Shall we just add this one right here? Like obviously these, these things are going to change. So not going to be bothered too much where I'm going to put these. I want to add one more. I think I'm just going to add this one, the small barrel feeder. And um, maybe we can put this one in door as well, because I also have the barrel for the white rhino in here. We have donation boxes, but hopefully it can hide a lot of them away. And I want to have like probably some kind of planter here with flowers and some double fences. I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet how I want to do this, but I, I definitely want to give it a different wall than we have right over here. This is just a combination of the tree trunks and then the aquatic rocks and so nothing really uh, special. And, and once we are going to fill this up, it's all going to uh, blend in a lot more nicely together, I guess. I do need to uh, assign a keeper. I, I think you are on your way to this habitat, but I feel like I need to hire one keeper and I'm going to, I, I think I already have a work roster. White Rhino, one habitat, one building and one staff room. That should be enough. And then we're going to give this keeper the White Rhino work zone. So that should be good. Uh, I want to train you. 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 Okay, this should be good. Train that one, this one, and that one. Oh, definitely also this one. Okay, that should also be good at this point. Uh, how is our vet research doing? Because maybe we can switch over to the white rhino. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, perfect. They're both done. So the Asian small cloth otter and the Bengal tiger are both finished so i'm gonna put you on this one and oh the malaysian tape here yes okay definitely research that the thompson gazelle is not in the habitat yet so i guess we cannot there we go there's the box uh we cannot research that yet i feel like i want to move that research center now so i'm gonna exit the editing group and i'm just going to put you right over here oh yes and we have uh, like this path going underneath here i think that's gonna look cool especially when this is all like tropical and and decorated i think that's gonna look nice if you have a little peek onto the staff path in a later stage and who knows and maybe in a conservation pack we also have some uh, 
cool stuff that we can uh, put in here or I don't know. I don't know. Just so excited to see what other stuff we are going to get in the conservation pack for like decorating our backstage areas and stuff. It's going to be so much fun. All right, let's exit this one. The research center, we already selected them. Oh, no, don't you run away. <laughs> look how beautiful they look. I think they can really appreciate this shelter building for the hot weather. They're both already going inside here. Ugh. Is the traversable area going to reduce? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, so they need more land as soon as... As you add another animal. All right. But it's fine. It's fine. It was green just now. But I think it's going to be all right. So if I just... Oh, goodness. You are not all right. You need so much space. Huh? Okay. I'm a little bit confused here. That is that is a little bit confusing. You are not entirely happy with, the, with the, the terrain. But that is probably all right. Yes. 86%. I'm a little bit confused about the, the, the space requirements for <laughs> for this animal. Like, doesn't make any sense that they would need so much space, even though they're, like, combined with the rhino. But I, I think it's, it's all right. But I, I can just paint this a little tiny tad right over here. Okay, that's going to be way too slow. So we're, so we're just going to save that. But I don't know, guys. You see how beautiful they look? I absolutely love their textures, like this black and white. They look so beautiful. Really a beautiful, gorgeous creature. Absolutely love these guys. Okay, what? wait, we have adopt a habitat species. Thank you. Our money is doing really well, by the way, here. High amount of litter. How dare you, people? How dare you? Where is that? Okay, they're... <sighs> My goodness, we need to hire a lot more staff to fix the bins and to clean everything. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to hire some more staff in here. Okay, we have two vets. I think that is still all right. Uh, we have enough keepers. We have two educators. They are very... They have a very high workload. So I think... I'm just going to add two more and I'm going to add these to the everything roster as well. We need to work on this. Like we're definitely going to select uh, things more in like smaller work zones. But for now, I'm going to uh, keep it on the everything work roster. Uh, we definitely need more mechanics. Like I think I'm just going to hire three mechanics because the bins and stuff are broken all the time so i do feel like uh, they can help with that and also like glass or stuff that would break we really don't want that see this one is right away working on it which is a good thing uh we do want to hire oh wait i have a no i don't want that security let's do three security guards as well i think right now we are in a position to do those kind of things. I... Oh, I cannot. Okay. Oh, wait. I can... Can I select the work zone? Oh, perfect. You can do that at once. Oh, I love that. I think all the employees do have the right work zone now. And now I do want to add some caretakers as well. Two, three, four. Oh, my God. I am hiring so many people now. <laughs> But I think, I think we will be fine. I think we will be fine. Everything work roster. And as soon as we can train this staff, we are going to train them. But I, I think this is going to help us to control everything at this point. Now, this, this, these buildings are definitely going to be replaced maybe a little bit to here. I noticed that this is... Or maybe to here. That could also be. And then right over here... We are going to have some kind of plaza here as well. We're going to probably use the rhino statue right over here or something like that. And just make a nice plaza area here in front of the um, indoor section for the right rhinos. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff we still have to uh, work on. Oh, the tickets are underpriced. Oh, that's 
Ah, uh, that's a really good thing. Someone did mention like if you raise the ticket prices, you should actually just click on someone that comes in. So we're gonna go in here. We actually did not raise it for a while, so I'm gonna make this 25, 22. And now I'm gonna play the game. These people are coming in. Uh, can I, can I click you? Well, there's no one. Uh, are you going to turn around? Oh no, you're not. Okay, these guests also came in. I can see their thoughts. The zoo ticket price is good. I think I'm then going to raise it just a little tiny bit more. Yes, and let's do this. Let's do this. And just keep an eye out for the guests and what they are thinking. I can find an accessible research center. Oh, yes, that's the vet. But I, I think that's going to be fine. I think, yeah, there is one already working in here but i for now i still feel like it's all right but maybe we should look into hiring just one extra vet very soon so malaysian tapir southern right rhino perfect this, these are all pretty close here so the research should be going pretty fast we might also want to look into another staff building we have a staff building here staff building there staff building here but it is, we are getting a lot more staff, so regarding space, we might want to look into that. But, <laughs> but, talk, 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 talk. We are talking so much. Time is flying by so fast, so we're going to wrap it up here. Keep an eye out for the community wall, because we're doing a poll with the uh, conservation pack animals to see what animal we are going to add next week with the conservation pack. I'm super excited for that, so please make sure to vote there and stay tuned, of course, for the next episode. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.